Hey guys, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store. In this video, I'm going to very, very quickly show you how I made this killer clown character using Scan Store assets, in particular our new free overlay textures and uh, one of our new hairstyles. So first of all, I'm going to select the character. I'm going to use this guy. He's got a cool wrinkly face. I'll load up the supplied mamas at scene. And now I'm going to get one of our free overlay textures. I'm using this evil clown guy. Load them into Photoshop, and you can see all the layers there. I'm going to load all the layers from the uh, head scan. And now what I'm going to do is copy over the normal spec roughness and diffuse maps on top of the texture maps supplied with the head scan. And then we can see our evil clown. Now I'm going to load those into Marmoset, swap out the textures that come with the pre-existing scene with the new overlay textures. Have a look at the nice skin details. Okay, now I'm going to load up one of our new real-time hairstyles. I will use this one, Slicked Back. I'm going to wrap it to the head using the lattice node to deform it onto the new head. Now I'll load that into Marmoset and copy over the supplied shader. I'm going to make that green just by changing the albedo color. Now I'm going to use our free multi-expression base mesh uh, to create an expression for the character. Just using the sliders very simply, brows down, mouth open with a bit of a smile. I'm going to pose him now, just mask off the top of the head, bend him down, make him look a bit more menacing. Just turn his head to the left a little bit there, fix his wattle. Now I'm just going to rotate the eye so he's got a bit of an eye pose going on. Just have him looking to the side there. And there's the final model with the real-time hair. Now we'll load that into Marmoset. Just have a quick spin around, looking good. And now I'm just going to add some dirt using another one of our free overlay textures. Again, same process. Just stick the texture over the top in Photoshop, drag that on in Marmoset, and now we've got a nice dirty killer clown. Now I'm going to load in one of our clothing assets. So I'm just going to use this jacket, load in the pre-supplied Marmoset scene file, and bang it in substance, stick some dirt on with a fill layer and a smart filter. And there we go, we've got some dirt. Export that, stick it over the top of the albedo, and now we've got a dirty jacket. Okay, all that's left now is the lighting, so I'm just using pre-supplied Marmoset HDRIs here just to find something that looks good. Quite like this one, it looks pretty cool, nice reflections in the eyes, skin details look good. And that's it really. Um, it's In reality this took me about 25 minutes, uh, maybe a bit less. But I just wanted to show how quick and easy it is to actually create something using uh, ScanStore assets. So I hope it's been useful, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.